This your boy Sleepy Six coming at you with another episode. Um, as you know, I'm over here trying to. Oh, no. Thank you, Ryan, All right. That's what I've seen. I'm trying to say. Um, so I've been, I've been having little issues here and there. Um, it's not too too bad um it's still drivable but i know this is like my gas mileage is suffering like uh, crazy sometimes sometimes he'll uh, jump from uh 10 miles uh, to range down nigga 10 so um and I, I don't know why some some areas it, it's like there ain't no power sometimes it is powers so uh i took this off right here um this was flipped the other way um but i think it's better this way because the air shooting out this way and if oil gets out it'll shoot that way instead of oil shooting here uh during up all this over here stuff like that and then, um yeah so I think it's probably best to let the uh, blow off valve point down that way. Um, so, that's just my take on that. Um, um, other than that, the car been holding, holding up good. No no big, big issues. Um, but there's just some little minor stuff. Uh, so, I got, shot the rip. I got the uh, the O-ring right here. Let's see, well, look kind of small compared to uh, what's actually in there. So maybe it's supposed to uh, uh, span out, um, but we'll see. So I'm just gonna leave that there. And you only need like one tool. I'm gonna show you what tool you need. All right, so this is the tool that you need right here. And there's a, you buy this from like a hardware store and um, different sizes. I don't know exactly what size this is. I just buy a whole kit size. It's gonna be, uh, you're gonna turn right here and there's another one right here. Let's see if I, here it goes. That's another one right here. So you just turn that and this, Two things come off, so I'm gonna show you once it's like off if you turn it. Should be very careful though uh, like the uh, metal piece that's in here I'm gonna make sure that don't come out into the uh, the bottom part of the car because it will be a halo to find and you do need that piece so oh snap like that and turn it you know how to do each one so I'll get back when I uh, completely take it off all right, so we got it off. Good thing there's no uh, no oil on these uh, 
ring right here. So the O-ring is right under here. This is a piece right here. Let me get the camera right in. Sorry about my thumb touching. It's right under here. So I'm gonna take this part off right here. And we should be able to access the, uh, the O-ring. So. All right, so this is the O-ring that was laying in here like this. And see how uh, chippy it is right here? I'm going to focus this way. So, yeah, that's definitely, you know, we, we don't want it to be separated like that because this helps stop the air. Um, yeah. The opening and closing. So, you know, when, when it's closed, it needs to be sealed and closed. And that also could be, you know, killing the gas. So I'm gonna put this new one in here and seal it on back up and stuff like that. So you know, you should be good to go on this. Okay, I should put this like this and then this. Look at that. Look at that. Perfect fit. Perfect fit. That's a winner right there, folks. Not this, this is <laughs> sounds that to the wolves and the trash. So I should definitely get my gas miles back. Um, my power when I need it. Um and like I said, I didn't check like the fuel injectors, the uh the check for any codes. And check for any leaks and stuff like that. So that's all the street, man. And those got tuned. So this is what I found. And it's kind of weird how I found this solution. I just, I just decided to take this off, man. I found this. I don't know. I don't know how much pressure caused this to snap, but hey, it's part of bit life right here, you know. So put that back in there. Nice and tight. Like you definitely want to be careful with this. <laughs> this this screw right here. Don't want to lose this because I'll sp you'll spend hours trying to find this. And uh, yeah, just put it back. I'm putting it, pointing it down. Yeah, but don't quote me. I don't know if it's better to have it down up. To me, I think it's better to have it down. Um, it look cool way up though, but um, it's probably best to have it down. For now, um, until I give me a, uh, a hood with with some holes in, it and then it could shoot at the hole. So best to point down, and it could shoot towards you know, um, like the fan here and the outside of the car, and then the lower part. So that just that just my theory on on this. Probably no right or wrong answer to this. So. Yeah, go, go ahead and comment on, on the, you know, the right or wrong answer on that, you know, which I think, I would like to definitely know that, um, which I think should, should be up or down. Okay, you know, we can have a little debate about it, and I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm just going to stay out and let y'all, <laughs> let the community decide, you know, what yeah, I think it should be, so, I'll show you when I put it all back in. Right, so we got back. Almost in. Make sure you tighten up as tighten as possible. This is like metal on metal on this rubber thing and on metal. So I don't know whether that's plastic or whatever. But uh, just make sure you tighten up on here. This is metal on rubber. Tighten up as tight as you can. Try try to stay like even with the tightness. I don't know. It's easy. <laughs> the only thing about it is just little tight spots. And you want to make sure you don't want to make sure that you don't <laughs> drop nothing. Just don't be uh, clumsy. And uh, drop this or in these little pieces right here. So, let me see what it sounds like when I crank it up. In fact, yeah, that bear crank. Sounds good. 
get a little rail on the side of Do a little blue lace set up. when I first pulled in, they already went up, so that's always a real good thing. I'm going to go and get copyright for it, for that part, but that should be, should be it, mm -hmm. should be good and rolling. See how I perform, though, that's, that's the biggest thing, so do a little pull, so, so. 